assalamu alaikum dear students how are you i hope you will all be fine and must be preparing for your exam so the topic which i have selected for you people for today is past perfect tense we have already finished with the uh, all the present tenses present indefinite present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous tense and we have already done the two tenses with past past indefinite past continuous and today we have to start with the past perfect tense so we have to see what do we mean by past perfect tense the structure formula of past perfect tense is subject plus had plus third form of the verb in this way you can construct a sentence with past perfect tense most of the time we use past perfect tense we have when we have to express two actions in the same sentence jab humne ye batana hota hai ki ek action mukammal khatam ho chuka tha jab dusra action start hua suppose you can see in the example grandpa had lived in this house before he decided to sell it by the time his mom arrived home he had already fallen asleep so it means that one action was completely finished when the other action started so in this way you have to use past perfect tense in the sentence that first part of the sentence will be done in past indefinite and the later part of the sentence will be done in past perfect tense now you can see in the example a very very tricky sentence is over here and most of the times the students they get confused about it that why we have two had in a sentence i had had a baby before i entered college so the first had is the helping verb and the next had is the third form of had because we always use third form of the verb with had in the case of past perfect tense this is the reason that we have two had in this sentence if you want to make a negative sentence with past perfect tense then you will use had not with the third form of the verb as you can see in all these examples that we have used had with the third form of the verb if you want to make an interrogative sentence with past perfect tense then had will come in the beginning of the sentence then subject will be there and then third form of the verb will be used in the case of interrogative sentence here we have some examples all these sentences positive negative and interrogative sentences you can make by using this tense matthew had studied music before he became famous again two actions two ideas they have been discussed in the same sentence one idea has been done with past perfect tense and the next idea is done with past indefinite tense in this way the mixture of two sentences or two tenses will be there in a sentence same is the case over here you can see in these examples as well the meeting had been finished by the time we arrived it means one thing was completely finished the idea in which one thing was completely finished will be done with past perfect tense and the next idea will be done in past indefinite tense now these are the signal words which are really very very important because most of the time students get confused you are always not going to have these signal words in the sentence and these signal words will help you to decide which tense you have to use in the sentence in the case of past perfect tense first then already up to then before that day after once these sentences or these singular words they can be there in a sentence which can easily tell you that you have to change the sentence according to past perfect tense now i have selected some sentences over here you are going to have this question in your subjective paper correct use of the verb so in this way you have to see yesterday mandy went to a cafe after she finished work so this sentence again has two ideas now you have to decide 
which part of the sentence you have to change according to past perfect tense. Suppose the first form of the sentence, the first part of the sentence is done with past indefinite tense. So automatically it should come into your mind that the later part of the sentence will be done according to past perfect tense. So first of all, try to do all these sentences yourself. And after doing the sentences, you can check their answers from, from the answer key. Yes, this is the answer key to all these sentences which were there. So you can easily check your answers from the answer key. So it will be easy for all the students just to understand the whole concept. Again, we have some sentences over here in which we have negative sentences. So you can easily do all these sentences yourself. And then after doing all these sentences, you can check your answers with the help of answer key. Yes, this is the answer key to all the sentences which were there in the first slide. So after doing the sentences yourself, you can check the answer key. So your idea will be more clear how you have to attempt your question over there in the paper. So I thought students, your idea with the past perfect tense and how you have to decide in your question paper that you have to change the sentence according to past perfect tense would be quite much clear. Let me revise the idea once again that it is always going to have two parts of the sentences. One part will be done according to past indefinite tense and the later part will be done according to past perfect tense. In this way, it will be easy for you people just to identify the tense of the sentence. Okay, students, Allah Hafiz.